a non-anticipated role, the European Council and the European Central Bank in the Eurozone crisis. Summit interview with Ian Beck, Professorial Research Fellow at the European Institute of London School of Economics and Political Science. In this video, Ian Beck elaborates on the role the European Council took on during the Eurozone crisis and on the institution's interaction with the European Central Bank during that period. What was the European Council's role in the Euro crisis? The European Council seemed to take on a role that it didn't pre previously have, a meeting much more regularly to give a steer to the economic reforms that would take place in response to the crisis. I think it didn't anticipate doing this and had to do so because it didn't have, couldn't think of any alternative. You know, the ECOFIN ministers weren't doing enough, hard decisions had to be pushed up at Prime Minister and heads of government level, therefore it became de facto a responsibility of the European Council. So the relationship of the European Council and the European Central Bank, well, would you quickly describe it? The Central Bank was the one acting rapidly at various critical stages during the crisis. For, for instance, very early on, providing liquidity into the system. The famous statement by Mario Draghi that he would do whatever it takes, in the second bit of that sentence, mm -hmm. and believe me, it will be enough. What the European Central Bank didn't want to be doing was being the sole actor in the crisis. It kept pushing the European Council and the uh, finance ministers to ECOFIN to do more. This became a kind of contest. If, if the European Central Bank did enough, mm -hmm. then the European finance ministers and, and heads of government would say, well, okay, it's been resolved. We don't need to do any more. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, there was a tension there because the European Central Bank always felt it was doing too much, risking German disagreement, and felt itself in a very uncomfortable position. Okay, um, so as to the last question, how would you assess the actions of the European Council that it did in the European uh, financial think, crisis? I think I'd be critical of the European Council for always doing the minimum necessary rather than doing what was optimal. Mm -hmm. This is perhaps understandable because the European Council reflects national interests, but too often decisions were not sufficient to deal with the problem. And much more could be done at critical points to stop the problem worsening. Mm -hmm.